fabulous people. Welcome back to the Thaddeus Art Studio. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I started painting, how I prep a canvas, how I do the sketching, a little bit about the tools I use. The first thing I need to do is change out of these clothes and slip into something a little more appropriate for painting. Well, that's not going to work. Okay. This is a little itchy. Let's try it again. Finally, something practical. Hmm, you know what though? Sequence, dry cleaning. Let's try this again. Perfect. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start talking to you about how I begin a painting. Let's start with the priming process. So people often ask, what are you gonna do with that big brush? What does one do with such a big brush? Well, in this case, I'm gonna take my big brush and prime or gesso this canvas. And putting a few coats of gesso on it is gonna make it nice and smooth, great work surface. Also, I mix my own gesso color, a nice gray. And I like the gray because in my work, I use a lot of contrast, a lot of shadows and highlights, and gray is a great beginning color to start on makes everything pop out very nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead with a good amount of gesso on my big brush here. I want to make sure not to get the brush strokes on my canvas. It's important that I don't leave any white space on the canvas. So I want to make sure everything's covered. So I've gone ahead and I've gessoed my canvas, got this nice gray tone here, nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and feel it and feel that smoothness. Minimal brush strokes, so I'm good to go. Start some sketching. Okay, so what the way I like to sketch is I use an older brush. See, it's not perfect, it's kind of frayed a little bit. Um, I like to use a Filbert. Have you all met my friend Phil? Filbert brush. Ooh, I know him. So the Filbert brush is the brush that kind of looks like that, kind of rounded at the top a little longer, um, no hard edges, uh, more, makes for more fluid brush strokes. Again, I'm sketching so it's not uh, refining the details or anything like that. So I take my brush, I've got some water, and I've got some black and white paint. You can see in the middle of my messy palette there. I start with the white uh, with a sketch and then I can go in with black if that gets a little messy. I'm really just mapping it out. I'm not committed to any of these lines necessarily. Just going ahead and putting what's in my head onto this nice smooth canvas. So as you can see in this piece I started with a very loose sketch with white paint and then I went into it with some black paint to contrast against the white as I developed the line work. To develop the details and the people and the drips in the background, I used angle shaders and filbert brushes. My colors, of course, are the most commented on aspect of my work, but the prep work, planning, and sketching of one of my pieces are not only the most essential parts, they often take just as long to do as the color itself. So we've done all that and we're still in grayscale. The color part of my work is a whole nother thing. Layers and layers and layers of color. I don't have that many layers on my face. Well, don't worry about it, Ms. Toast. We aren't getting into that this episode. <laughs> Has anybody seen Phil? Huh. 